Hello everybody and welcome to a new live session of game development. Uh, today we have a different, uh, a long list to do. So we want to do today to we want to create a new uh, keypad uh, window for for the secret game. So we will use this new window just to enter the, the, the secret code using the, the mouse instead of the keyboard. So we will need to, to build it uh, from, from the scratch. So we will start just to creating the, the assets, the 2D sprites. Later we will create a, a new window. Um, a new component just to to create the, the keypad inside the different the layout of the buttons inside of the the keypad uh, window and we will need to 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 show how to draw that that new component to to the engine and later if there is enough time we will add the events just to accept uh, the input from the keypad and just in order to enter the the code so let's start uh, with the draw the keypad uh, and buttons so let me switch to gimp i will use this program to create them so right now this is the this is the atlas picture that i'm using for for another project so we will use the same way, uh, the same type of buttons, just for for the keypad. So let me create uh, them from from scratch. So I will add uh, some of them here with the numbers. So we will start with the numbers, and uh, maybe we'll add uh, some additional ones for the plus, minus, uh, multiply, divide by. So another um, button. So let's start copying and this one okay mm, so let me duplicate the layer so this it will be for example number zero mm, duplicate layer where is it duplicate layer so let me mm, okay i have moved the one so this is the one, so let's move here, zero, this is zero, yes, this is the zero, let's move here, and do it again, duplicate layer, this is number two, so, okay, confirm, yes, number two, duplicate layer, number three duplicate layer number four i prefer to work with different layers because if you are if you don't like the layout of you want to change anything it's very easy just to create the the output and the png output picture just uh, showing or hiding some of the components so number seven duplicate layer okay so we have zero one okay two three four five eight so this is number nine zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's here number eight here number seven number six number five number four number three and number two one and zero are at the right positions okay so uh, i'm going to use a font it's called ethnocentric that is used uh, by this project so let's start with this one to draw the numbers so this is number zero change the size and the color to white uh, 
Okay, I think it's bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> Let me check. Let's move. Oh. Okay, I have. Mm, I don't need this one. Delete layer. This one. Move. It's strange. Let me add a new one. Number one. Uh, white color size um, 150 and move. Oh, okay, what's happening? Okay, the text cannot be rendered too large. Let me remove the left layer. Again, we'll try again with number one. Number one. White. Okay. What's doing? Okay. Let's move. It's not changing. Delete layer, it's not changing the tool, so it's this is move. Move. Mm. I don't know if it's the right size, so it's a little bit smaller, so it's expected to be higher for this type of button. So let's do it a little bigger. Okay. Okay, too much. Again, a bit smaller. Okay. Mm. Still too high. Let me check with different buttons. Yes, maybe it's a little too high for mm, just to be like the other components. So 200. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Okay, more or less. Okay, so 200 is it's good. I don't like this one. Let's remove. Okay, so just doing copies. Number one here. Duplicate layer. This is number two. This is number one. Number two, mm, let's move it. Why? Okay, we need to put on top of the background. So this is number, oh, this is number two. Oh, it's, it's very big, number two. Okay. Mm. Okay, we need to check mm, the size from the top, from the bottom. Okay, maybe from the top. Okay, more or less. I think it's mm, it's, it's very big. Okay, let's try with a new one. Mm, copy, duplicate layer. Mm, let's do this one for the serum. So, mm, where is it? Let me hide number two. Okay, it's here. Move. And instead of this one, I want a serum. So let me. Okay. Mm, Okay, so more or less, I don't like too much the zero, but it's the way it works. So, number two, duplicate layer, and this is number three. 
So move. Rename it. Just to keep, I need to add after. Mm. Okay, more or less, and we need to repeat it again and again. So, duplicate layer. Whoops. This one, move. Here, change the level. So, this is a four. And duplicate layer. Move. This is the number five. This is number five. Four. So hide the four. Move the new five. It's the five number. Okay. Next one. Duplicate layer. Move. This is the new six. Hide this one. Move this one. and change the number it's six remove the five okay new one move later we can adjust the just to check that they are in the middle so I don't care too much right now duplicate layer this is number seven hide this one, move the new 7 here and change the value to 7 ok, move <laughs> move the tool, not the app ok, duplicate layer this is number 8 move, this is for number 8 Duplicate layer, this is number nine. So, number nine, move you place here and all there. Okay, number eight, eight here, remove, place a little bit in the middle and rename the number seven. It's nine and put more or less in the middle. Okay. So more or less we have from zero to nine. Uh, maybe okay, we can start with only the numbers. Later we can okay, we need to enter at least an, an enter button just to a uh, return. So we can use any of this one. So this is could be the multiply. The division could be some of these ones. Okay, one thing I need to add is that if you see closer, they have a, a shadow here. So I need to add the shadow for the numbers. So the way it's very easy to add a shadow, so for example with number 9, what we are going to do is just duplicate the layer. And when we have both, we choose one of them, for example, the below one. Let me hide this one. Select. We select all the number and we change the color just to black. This one. Okay. And we are going to move it just a little bit. So, mm -hmm, this is move. Mm, why move? So I'm moving the the number below. So this is creating more or less a shadow for the number. So I need to check uh, the size of this shadow. So it's more or less between. Uh, 947 till uh, more or less uh, 4 pixels 
like so and this one is uh, 60 uh, 69 till oops okay it's only three so one one extra movement and a little bit uh, to the right so four pixels so this is just the shadow later we can merge both so we can merge if we want all these three layers but right now uh, I will keep it I will keep them because we can change later so let's choose the below 8 do the same select change color to black okay and let's move it four times one two three four one two and i hope it's at the same situation like like the nine okay let's do it with the other numbers so continue with seven duplicate layer let me save mm, save mm. Uh, number seven, uh, the below one, select it, select it, change the color. Why are not you showing me the? Okay, let me change the color. This one. No. Okay, right now. No, can't fit. Seven. Select it. And why cannot? Okay. 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 Move to change. One, two, three, four. One, two. And it must be at the same position like the others. We, we can measure so it's okay I can use this one okay it's four pixels okay it's correct so next one and number six duplicate layer mm. Mm, hide the highest one change the color of the lower to black okay and move it one two three four one two and show the top okay number five duplicate layer mm. hide the highest one and work with the below one select it change color okay and move it one two three four one two uh, i have <laughs> moved the wrong ones but it doesn't matter just change the order with this one you can move the layers so next one number four duplicate layer duplicate layer work with the below one below select it change color okay and move it one two three four one two okay next one number three duplicate layer do it again select change color and move it the same one two three four one two show the white only duplicate layer and hide the highest one select change color move one two three four one two okay number one same again hide one and change the color to the other okay move one two three four one two okay and the last one 
duplicate layer work with below one select change color okay move it for positions one two three four one two and show okay so these are the numbers just following the the same aspect as the other buttons so we have from 0 to 9 um, maybe we need uh, this is a layer for 3 3 times 4 12 maybe we need hmm, different size okay we will check it later if we need another button we can create so i think maybe we'll use this for the multiplication maybe for division we can use this one oh, this one okay let me add them so let's in the back and move to the top okay duplicate layer duplicate layer here mm -hmm. move it so we can call this the minus and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can use i think this one mm -hmm. this is button pause okay i don't think i don't know if i have mm, button button pause pause where is it? Oh, it's here. This one. Okay. It's it's um okay, I need to okay. I can select this way. Mm -hmm. More or less. copy this one, edit, paste as new layer edit, paste as new layer, new layer there is not much data in the queue ok, control C, edit copy Okay, here's the clipboard. Let's move to the top. Come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's on the top. So let's move here. And let's rotate. So this is the minus. So we can just rotate 90 degrees. Uh, no, not this one this one why why is not working mm, strange okay let me move we can move it mm, I can no I cannot turn us intersect with layer strange so let me extend layer to image size okay and this one rotate okay the angle is 90 degrees no <laughs> no, mm, delete layer. So let me again select. Rotate. Okay. And now it's working. Rotate. Okay. This is the minus sign. So move mm -hmm, more or less here in the middle to the same that we have 
done with the other ones so just duplicate the layer when we duplicate the layer we had we change the color of one of these ones so mm, we can use this one just and move mm, move one two three no i'm not moving one two three four one two okay so more or less this is the minus sign okay and we can do more or less the same with the division so for division i can use this one select this one button music of not sure what can i this is the minus uh, white minus black no ah, this is the minus white minus black and this is the minus background button but okay okay more or less it's clear what we need to do just do the same the plus sign it's more or less the same so we can use um, mm -hmm, we can use this for the multiply so let's duplicate duplicate layer so this will be um, the plus sign Move. let's use duplicate the same duplicate layer okay so move no okay Okay, so this is the new one and we need to duplicate and duplicate again because I need to rotate it uh, so let's select select it and rotate mm, minus 90 degrees rotate okay place and together we have the plus sign so we can merge mm, let's move mm, not sure if it's in the middle more or less so let's join these two layers so merge down where is it merge visible layers no merge down okay this is the plus white if we duplicate layer and we can create the the black shadow so black is below mm, select the black and use this to fill with black and move one two three four one two okay I think it's more or less. We have two additional buttons with mm, new symbols. So I think <laughs> multiply this one and we have need the division, the divided by. So, so, so. <laughs> Maybe we need to use this one. <laughs> Let's start. This is a plux background button. Duplicate, duplicate layer, move. Okay, it will be the division button divided by, and I can use. 
I prefer this one in order to do the division maybe we need to enlarge so let's start with the minus white duplicate layer move to the top this is the division white so let's move okay mm -hmm. let's select only um, this area let's enlarge a little bit in the width scale mm, not scale scale no, it's not good because it's uh, the the corners are not keeping the, the the ratio so let's do another way so let's uh, select an area let's hide the background so control c control v move mm, this way we can extend a little bit control v again okay so i'm not sure if it's enough let's try select rotate It's too big. It's too big. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we need to do it uh, smaller. So, mm -hmm. okay, just remove an area in the middle. Control X, Control V, move. paste okay again select oh, no, this one rotate mm, 40 degrees minus 45 rotate move no, select first move okay we can move in the to the middle A bit too large, still too large. Mm -hmm. Control set. Uh, okay, again, doing a smaller again. So let's cut a little bit more and paste. Mm -hmm. Select it, rotate minus forty five, rotate, place and check. Okay, this is more or less what we need. Okay, okay. So let's do the shadow duplicate layer. So this is the black. The black is below. So hide this one, select, change the color with a bucket. Okay. And move. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. It's correct. Okay, so we have the button with the shadow. So more or less, uh, it's all that we need. So mm, we will have also this here. So this is the button close. The close button could be, oh, mm, yes, it could be the multiply. Or maybe we can use this uh, twice. Because it's, it's this is um, a little bit um, thicker, so maybe I need to create a new one. Let me check some pictures just to sh check. 
Okay, usually it's a star, it's not uh, a cross. So usually it's a star. So maybe I need um, an example. Let me find something. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not easy. That's it's not. I need to check uh, later. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the moment, we, we can use this one, so it's enough. So, so let's save this one to export this one. So file export as and. Mm -hmm. This is for the project for secret, so secret and mm -hmm. resources, assets, images, images, and I think that it could be space buttons. Okay, space buttons is a good name. Mm. It's already in use. Let me check mm, what is there. In space buttons. Ah, okay. Space buttons is the the previous version, so I can export, export and replace, export. Okay, so let's move back uh, to the to the Java code, so to the Eclipse. Have too many windows here okay first thing that we need to do just to check that it's here so let's refresh uh, refresh resources pictures space buttons so this is our new atlas and we have here the button so it's here we have the new one we have the new atlas picture just to work with so this is the first thing that we have for today just to draw the keep keypad button so that's completed the next task is just to create a new keypad window okay so mm, we are going to use this uh, for the project secret so let's start secret At the moment we have only uh, three windows and the secret. So we have the debugger uh, window that we were using in the last um, live session just to, to check the animation. So we were using this just as, as a, just, just to try different types of animations and we have mm, logger and login so here the login when we enter we enter a new code uh, right now I need to use the keyword just to enter the numbers so mm, that's okay but sometimes it's it's better for the player to have uh, to only use um, the, the the mouse or the pointer or whatever or the, or the gamepad if they have a gamepad just to play so sometimes uh, what I want is to create a, another window that it has more or less the it looks like a, a keypad. So we want to keep the same, the same ratio is more or less another window like this one. But instead of these buttons, we will use um, uh, the, 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 the ones that we have just created. So let's add a new window. So in this environment, just to create a new window, we can reuse the, the last one. For example, this one, this is window three. So copy and paste, and paste. Okay, yes, it's window number four. Perfect. Window number four, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the same, it must be I can select it, I can drag and drop and the transformation, okay, just put in in the middle so 
maybe this is 3 on 3 just put in the in the middle so <laughs> okay um, what we will need is just also a, a, a window title so let's copy and paste this one C control V title number four title number four and this could be instead of login it will be okay the keypad uh -huh. okay I, I will keep in the same position so okay and I need to add them to the scene so in the scene in the scene is a list with all the entities that are drawn in in in, in this is scene, the scene number two, where the three windows are shown. So we have a, a system, a window manager here with the three windows. So we need to add our fourth one. So this will be the number four. Uh -huh. Number four, we will have a title. Line. Okay, so more or less this one. Let me go to the end so we will have a window 4 using the window 4 uh, configuration file and the parent is mm -hmm, is the window manager so here it's called UI system so the parent is the UI system and you have uh, children that is your title for title for and I need to define also the the title so let's copy some here okay let's copy this one so this is title number four with a new name define it in title for a configuration file and the parent is window 4 so this will create a new window with the behavior that we have selected just drag select and it will be empty so here we have the new window this is the new window, just define it so with the site that it's the same as this one because we can change later. Maybe uh, I can expect a more vertical, more higher than wider. Uh, so that can be changed just in the definition of the window. So instead of um, having the same uh, width, so let's for example do this one. Mm -hmm. For example, let's try. Okay, mm, maybe still it will be uh, need to reduce the width. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it can be. Okay, so we have a new keypad window. What we need right now is just to create um, the layout inside of the keypad. So we need just to define some layout about um, how we want to, to put the, the numbers. I want to create a, a component, a flexible component that we can use later just to, to change the layout of the buttons, the size or, or whatever. So. Uh, I'm going to reuse uh, a previous version that I have. So let me show the previous version that I used in a previous game that is shown right now in in the in Hackman 0.5 in the lower uh, right corner. So when you pl play here, okay, not here. It's better here. You have this this layout with the with the letters for English, so you can change the language. In Spanish, there are different ones: uh, French, Italian, Portuguese, Catalan, Deutsch. So you have different different letters 
so different layout so it's just changing it's it's the same component so the each component or each language is defined uh, with different layouts how many letters uh, in, in in a row and how many letters in, in a column and just which letter is in each place it's important that the information is needed but because when you choose any of them you need to just to check which one is is click it just to provide the output okay so mm -hmm, let's remove so this is what i had in the past so what we want is just to use um, a, a new version of this one because um, new versions work with the new window manager and this is just a, a very manual version so what we want to do is this one but using the new letters the new numbers that we have created and a new layout that allows you to create a um, maybe buttons with uh, double size or things like that so let's check how how is defined in hangman so in hangman i think it's in c number one okay number one or number two in both is used so we have on a screen keyboard so it's called mm -hmm. keyboard keyboard here okay so this is a very complex definition but um, it uses uh, this is the language okay mm -hmm. there is a on-screen keyboard that is what is drawn that it knows um, the tiles the different tiles so you need to say okay what what um, picture what uh, tile is drawn in at each position so you set uh, how many letters or symbols do you want to to write to draw in in the on a screen keyboard so it's more or less a, a square and it divides the size between and this uh, in the number of rows and columns that you have set so um, mm -hmm. This is how it's defined the, the the atlas. So it's defined here in this case. For example, we will have three, six, eight, eight buttons in, in a row, and three, six. Okay, the same eight buttons in any column. So it will be tiles by row eight, tiles by column eight. So this will be how the pictures are. Mm -hmm located in the atlas uh, image and the other one here case by column so this just show you uh, how to put those difference I don't know why it's this is on the right, wrong position it's wrong for all of them okay so this is the layout so here it's seven um, letters in a row and four columns in this other language is the same but we have five columns so difference because different languages has different number of, of letters in the alphabet so you need to create a different layout and later we here you choose it which position you draw each of the of the of the letters so that was as how it work it and we can start with the same with on a screen keyboard with working more or less with the same so moving back here creating the window is it was easy to create a new keypad window and uh, what is more complicated is to create a, a keypad component so let's review how it work it the on a screen keyboard in the engine so components we had on the screen keyboard okay on a screen keyboard accepts a language because it was prepared for, for different languages 
So we accepted uh, a language and um, the key positions of the atlas. So you provide here the, the picture and here uh, which tiles you are going to use. Mm -hmm. So let me check the definition here. I think the atlas key positions is not used. It's using the layout. So, mm -hmm. so this is an example of how it works. Keys by row, keys by column. And what it does is just to set the language, switch style. This is just for, for animation. When when a button is, is pressed, you can just switch just to show some effect. Mm -hmm. And get keys just to know which one has been drawn, uh, clicked or selected. Okay, so in this case we don't need a language, but can we reuse the language? So let me check uh, language selector. The language. So you have the keys, expand the keys. This is very very specific for for languages so not sure if we need all of this one so let's start with uh, with a new component so let's define it so a new class it could be um, at the moment just keypad because it's only for the keypad so maybe later we can use to build other things but right now just a keypad so what we need in order to draw it so what we need is a picture so we need an image 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 so that is basic so this is the keypad we use reflection to build the objects so nothing there so let me uh, okay the keypad could be a children of the window 4 so in order to be a children let me add here a new no, let's duplicate the title 4 title no wrong okay, let me close this one Close project. Uh, yes, save. Mm -hmm. So it's here. Title for Control C, Control V. So we are going to call you Keypad. Okay. And let's edit the Keypad. Mm -hmm. So you will have a transformation. So more or less, you are going to use the wall uh, parent window so I don't care mm, set plane uh, set plane it, it doesn't matter because it's not using it and you don't have this one so what you have is a keypad you have a keypad this is the new component and what we want to define is a picture in the image uh, is also the name of the property and we are going to use mm, this one so space buttons space buttons png okay so that's the picture mm -hmm. Okay, in title four, mm, there is a. Okay, this is a height, height plus white component, so it's more or less zero dot two. So let me remove this one here, just not to overlap with the uh, title with the window mm, window uh, bar top bar. So okay. Mm -hmm. So let me change this with just to do a check with image simple. Image simple, what it needs. 
a much simple just an image so let me do this change okay this is just instead of doing creating a, a a K pad with some layout is just to to draw the the whole picture. Okay, so I expected to a picture to be drawn here, so it's not drawing anything. Why not? Maybe I need to check it. Okay, it's not uh, drawing anything because I have not added the keypad. Okay, let me add the keypad as a children, unlike this. So I have, um, <laughs> we can say that this is the keypad. keypad. Mm -hmm, it's defined in keypad. And the parent is the window, okay. Okay, so you have the window four has two children. One is the title, and another one is the keypad. The keypad right now is just a uh, just a picture, uh, just a picture. So let's do it. Just try it again. Mm. Still not drawing anything. Mm. Well, it's not drawing anything here. Hmm. Title four. No, this one. Okay, X with half. Mm -hmm. I suppose that it's not mm, any error. No, no errors. Okay. No, it's not the seat value. Maybe it's an issue with the drawing function, so I don't know if I have updated them. So when we draw, this is the old one, just to print the on a screen keyboard. So with the new uh, affine, affine transformations, we see here are some mistakes. In the spelling, so what we draw with transformation. So, okay, this is a much simple. Mm -hmm. It's here. Hmm. And I think that the background is using that one, so background is using the same as the mm, keypad so list component list class components image simple why it's not drawing anything UI okay okay I have defined it here the parent but I have not defined the children so I need to go with window 4 window 4 I need to define the children so this is keypad okay so the children needs to know who is the parent and the parent needs to know all their children okay so this is how mm, it's just drawing the, the title, keypad, and just the picture, but it's the, the whole picture, so mm, what, this is not what we like. Uh, what we want is just to select only some of these small tiles and use the, the whole area, not to draw the whole picture. So this is the, the task that we need. Uh, we need first uh, define how to draw it, uh, the layout, uh, and later draw it. So these are the two tasks for today.
so okay key part is working so instead of these ones let me use the keypad the keypad okay so the picture is correct we need a layout so let's reuse from the on screen so on screen no from definitions okay so what we need is mm -hmm. first we need to know uh, the layout so we need how many mm, let me say tiles in a row tiles per row mm -hmm. and tiles per col column okay all of these ones are private private okay and this is just for the layout printing tiles per row tiles per column so let's start this is an integer so usually we have mm -hmm, in this case we can use four for a row and let me use call instead of column uh, four so four by four okay so that's this is this will be the layout okay what else what else and then we need to say um, which tiles we are going to draw so we can use an integer array so it could be mm, private integer array just to say mm, the tiles the tile tile index index tile index indexes tile index okay so tile index is which tile we are going to use for each one so um, so starting from the top um, uh, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how many so let's draw it mm -hmm, let's change to draw it so mm -hmm. so if we have a window with different mm, rows so we have set for rows and for columns okay four by four so we need just to say okay which numbers we want so if we start usually it have one two three four okay so we can start typically is one two three four five six seven eight nine and here we can have the here is the return button so maybe plus minus divide and we need the multiply maybe mm -hmm. let's remove this one so let's do again so let's do it the division multiply minus plus and here the return on the delete it could be uh, just a delete maybe it, this could be one layout it's not maybe we need to add uh, an extra um, typically they have an extra here with more buttons but just for now we can use this layout so uh, in order to provide in this one we need to select the tiles so uh, when we select the the index the tile index we will start saying okay which is the index for the number seven so the values so we can use values 
it will be 7, 8, 9, the division, 4, 5, 6, multiply, and the index, uh, it depends on the picture, so I don't know, I think it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 32, 32, 40, maybe it's 39, uh, 40, 41, so this is the, the position in the atlas. So in, in the atlas, uh, we have a different layout. So if you remember, more or less in the middle, uh, we have numbers. So if we have here 0, 1 till 7, 8, 9, mm, I don't remember, it was minus and plus uh, division. So if this is, I don't know, this is the, you start of 0, 1, 2, 8, and maybe this is 32. So this is 32 and this is 40. Mm. So 32, 33, 34, and whatever, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, so this will be the 44. And the 4 is 32, 3, 4, this is second, 2, 3, 4, so 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it's 36. So it's the information that is needed. We need the, the output value. What when it's pressed, which value is um, returned to 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 the game, and and the tile index. So this is the tile index, and this is the value. So we need uh, both. So let's change and create at least those. So this is zero, eight. 0, 1, 2, mm, okay. let me move, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 8, 16, uh, 24, 32, this is 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, so this is uh, the index, so we need two, uh, we need the this one and the values, and the values it could be just uh, uh, a char, so it's char, a char array, so this is the, the values, okay, the values, so let's do it, mm, char array, these are the values, so the first value, mm, it was number 7, 7, 8, 9, and divided, the next row it was um, Four, five, six, and multiply. Uh, one, two, three, and minus. And the next one it was zero. Mm, two values that we don't know what to put here. And the plus sign. So this is more or less what the layout that, that we have done. So right now what we need is just to provide the, the position of these uh, pictures. So number 7 is 0, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, so this is 39. So it's 39, 40, 41. And the divide is 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. And uh, number 4 is 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 37, 38. And the multiply, we can use this one. So 0, 8, 9, 10. So this is, will be the 10. Number 1 is 33. 33, 34, 35. And minus is here 40, 41, 42. 0, is at 32 index and we have to again here that we can use mm, just as return or just to remove so we can use this one for example 
gates mm -hmm, gates mm -hmm. this the enter and this for remove maybe eight and nine eight and nine so this could be I don't remember the the code yes to remove for the enter is this one is the carriage return and the plus sign is 40, 41, 42, 43 so it's 43 okay if I had not made any mistake uh, this is more or less just to say okay this is the layout that you have defined it so you can change but right now you have defined it at 4 by 4 so 16 and you need to provide 16 output values and 60 tile pictures okay mm -hmm. so right now it's not going to draw anything because it's just a definition so, mm. so it's not drawing because because uh, keypad component has not drawn uh, the 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 drawing system uh, does not uh, know how to draw a keypad because we have not uh, still we have not provided that in the information about how keypads can be drawn on the screen. So right now this is just only defining uh, the keypad the layout, but nothing is drawn. Okay. So mm, this is the keypad component. So uh, we need to provide. Uh, okay, for all of them, we will need to provide some getters and setters. So so let's create them. So just source getter setters select all. Okay. Okay. This is just to access to the properties of, of this component. So this is the standard behavior. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is uh, the, the methods that we will call when we try to draw it. Okay, so let's move to the drawing. So mm -hmm. in order to draw only some of them, what we need to go here is just to draw mm -hmm. okay so <laughs> a lot of code here mm, let's minimize so how it works the drawing the drawing starts uh, here mm -hmm. where where is it too many Mm -hmm. ah, no, it's not there. It's here. Okay, the drawing starts here, drawing uh, all all the entities. So it's draw, it sorts the entities and draw them. So mm -hmm. so it starts drawing from top to bottom. So it sorts um, the top uh, components in the high hierarchy. Uh, uh, using the the set the third component the th uh, the third mm, the set component and later each each window draw its its own children so in draw hierarchically it's draw itself so here uh, the window is draw and uh, then every children belonging to 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 that parent is drawn on top of the of the parent just to to hide the parent so mm -hmm, here mm -hmm, it's are mm, recursively uh, called so and if there are no children it's it calculates the transformations because uh, uh, the children are draw inside of the parent so if the parent is smaller and smaller and uh, the children must be keep the same transformations and be smaller and smaller so all uh, all is related all mm, the transformations are relative uh, to to the parent transformation so you need to get uh, all the parents transformations before drawing anything so these are mainly the the components this is just for drawing the window 
this is a simple picture that is what we have done just to to draw the keypad just as a picture so that's why it just show the whole picture and not the different tiles uh, here. and we here we have different um, the drawing system knows how to draw a text a level and, and this is it this was the the previous one the uh, on a screen keyboard so what we need to do is just to create a new one that is more or less like uh, a much simple and this one so mm -hmm. I want to reuse part of this one so mm -hmm. let me use this one mm -hmm. so but picture is working better so let's start with the picture So mm -hmm, mm, this is a keypad. A keypad. So what we need just is to get um, the class keypad. Is an um, get component. So try to get it just to check if the the entity have a keypad. If there is a keypad in this component, we know how to draw it. So, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm, so we want to keep the transformation and the keypad. So, in order to draw a keypad, what we need is to know uh, the layout and the layout and the different pictures and this uh, transformation this get a thin transform we will give you the the wall screen picture in size so this will be print thin uh, keypad so let's let's call this way okay okay so what we need is just to create this one okay so let's move to the different fine here it's like a picture so let's duplicate this one so print the fine keypad is the new one and we want to provide a keypad object so it's our keypad with a transformation so the picture is inside the keypad so you get the image here so let's start simple so this way the keypad will be drawn but instead of using our image simple component we are going to use the keypad and the keypad will provide the picture and it will be drawn so we are here here is where we are so we have started to, to build the, the drawing functions for the keypad but it step by step so it's easier so right now it's here the keypad but the keypad is mm, only drawing the, the full the full picture so it's not doing too much okay so next step next step let's just let me copy from the on screen keyboard just to to look about the details so this was in the past okay there are a lot of things here mm -hmm. so what it does the on screen uh, keyboard it was just to get the picture the same way that we get it from the keypad and uh, have a main loop just to draw uh, the different tiles so if it's four by four so it's drawing uh, six times six tiles so let's do more or less what is done here but uh, this code is not up to date so we i need to do different uh, transformations we need to to update here okay the prints sub image 
let me check this one okay okay this is not up to date because it's not using the transformation methods pretty much is using the transformation no no and let me check if there is one okay okay this was the the, the old one and we have here a new one print print a fine sub image here it's um, getting the transformation so and what is expected uh, let me here return so it's expecting uh, to to draw um, not the whole picture that that as we are drawing right now and uh, what we need is the source position so we need the the top left coordinate of the of the tile so we need to provide for example for number four we need in the, the position of this corner and the size so providing this coordinate uh, so x offset and y offset and the width and the height it will draw only this a square area instead of the whole picture so just changing these values for for each tile it will draw each uh, picture in each position but you need not only the source mm -hmm. uh, you need to provide the destination mm -hmm the source okay so yes we need the source so it's perfect so this gets the source but the destination and this uh, destination is used just only for um, animated um, just for um, for animations so it's drawing uh, uh, tile from the atlas but is using the the wall um, the wall it's here the wall area the wall destination area so um, let me show you how to use this one so let's do it uh, with the keypad okay so instead of using this one let me use this one so we use the image the transformation and three and the source position so let's say that the search position is let me use some code here mm -hmm. this code Okay, let's do it manually right now. So, so oh, let's start coding. So, uh, let's reuse this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many rows are in the keypad? So, how many tiles? So, it's provided by the keypad. dot get tiles tile rows okay so if we have uh, five tiles in each column so we have five rows so it's a bit confusing but it's the same way so just changing keep but so here mm, dot get tiles per row Mm -hmm. okay so this is the um, the output value so this is um, what we need to draw mm -hmm. okay key rows tail rows okay okay tiles let me check uh -huh. okay I'm checking that we have missed some parameter. So this is not tiles. Okay, if it, this is tiles, we need two definitions. So this is the output. So this is not the um, the tiles per row is not four. It's eight. 
because the picture has 8 tiles, 8 by, by 8 tiles. And these tiles are related with this one. And these values are related with the layout position with the layout position of the keypad. So this is uh, more or less like mm, numbers or yes, I, I think it's symbols per this is the output. So keypad or um, keys per row and keys per column. So it's more or less what is used. It was used in the on a screen keyboard, so here. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's add this new one. So eight by eight tiles, but the output is four by four. So mm, we need this one. So we have uh, these are the tiles. These are related with this one, and we have new ones here that they are called keys per row keys per column okay so they are defined here and we need to create more getters and setters mm. okay so here they are Ooh, what's happened Okay, so let's move back here. We need to get, so let's start adding some comments here. So this is the keypad uh, layout. And we need the Atlas image uh, layout. So the times rows, yes, this is are related with the image layout. So here we need the key rows equals keypad dot get keys per column and in key rows equals keypad dot get get keys per row okay so that way we have mm, okay no key rows key columns key columns we have the number of rows and okay and the source uh, is related with the uh, tiles so uh, for example just to draw the first one so it's 0, .0 and the width this is the width so the width will be 1.0 divided by the number of tiles in a row so tile rows no tile columns mm, tile rows no is tile calls is the number of columns mm -hmm. so or the number of tiles per row so mm -hmm. this is the column, so this is, will be 0, 0 and the height is the same. So it's 1.0f divided by time rows. Okay, this will draw in the wall uh, window, but only one tile. The tile is the, the first one, so it will draw this one, the gear engine because we have selected 0, 0 and the size and the width of only one type. Okay? So this is how it works. So we can, using that logic, we can select um, we can select the source or um, the, sub the tile inside of uh, Atlas window, Atlas picture, the tile that we want. So instead of that one, let's select uh, what is what it was requested. So, 
so the tiles in order to know which tiles do we need we you remember we have this one the tile index so we have an integral right that is the tile indexes is equals to keep pad get tile indexes so for example if we want to mm, draw um, one of them so it's more or less this is the code so mm -hmm. the atlas key position the atlas tile tile position is tile indexes and let's you assume that index is equals to zero so index zero is number th is number 39 so we want to draw maybe i need to do it bigger we need to draw a uh, number seven number seven so we have this one so we will get uh, the 39 39 divided by tile calls that is eight and this division it's more or less uh, Mm, four four times eight is 32 to 39 seven and this is the reminded so it's mm, 39 divided by eight is four so zero one two three four so row number four we start with zero number four and 39 divided by eight the remaining of that division is seven so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, the tail row, mm, this is what will be used. So, mm, this is just to, to know which is the position. So, it's not enough because we need, this is the source. We need to translate that position to a uh, and just to to um, a number from zero to one zero for one is the 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 width the complete width so tile call divided by tile calls so this is a percentage so this is providing um, the size okay so let's move change this one show six one i think so six two source white one source white two okay so mm, x min x max okay so this will draw index zero from the atlas so uh, the tail index 39 that is a seven so if it's working it the number seven the button seven will be drawn okay here it is so changing the the index we can do whatever so for example um 48 41 44 so it's 0 1 2 3 the 3 is the division so if we set the number 3 it will draw the num the the division the slash the slash one forward slash okay here it is okay so this way we can uh, select the source so let me add uh, this will be done in a for loop so instead of providing this one i need to create a for loop so this will be for integer index in tile indexes do all of this one and we don't need this one so with this code uh, all the indexes will be drawn so the the only problem is that they are drawn one over uh, on the other and the other so only the last one the 43 so the plus sign will remain on top of all of them so 
and just check that if you draw on top on top one each other only the last one will be will be shown so okay uh -huh. Mm, 39 maybe it's not this one okay tile index is not okay not tile indexes so the tile index the index is from okay. from in index equals zero minus uh, okay instead of index say i i minus tile indexes dot length a plus plus okay this way because mm, seven is still seven why seven mm -hmm. it's doing in the other way tell indexes <laughs> At last style position. So we draw. I'm not sure why it's selecting the, the first one. Okay, tell indexes, it's getting the value. So the atlas position is directly mm, the tail index. So we could get over right of this one. I'm not sure if we will use later. So let me do a quick check here instead of let me switch the 7 and 8 just to be sure that all is true but I don't know the, the order okay so it's drawing in, in the in the in different in in the other order so it's drawing first the last one I'm not sure why Not sure why it's not drawing. Okay. Uh, okay, no, it's drawing the first one, only the first one. Tail indexes, length. Mm -hmm. Tail indexes. You have a lot here. Let me add just to be sure that all is drawn. Okay, just why? Just, just it. I want to be sure that it's working and it's not doing anything strange at the moment. Okay, uh, here you see that it's drawing from 0 to 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's 16. I'm not sure what is in drawing. So why and the first one is keeping the first one and it's not over over drawing <laughs> them so more or less we have uh, what we need um, the problem with this function is that we cannot say we cannot provide um, the output so in this way we cannot we can say we can only provide information about the source but we need to provide information about the the output because instead of the wall window we want to use only a small part just to to draw so we need to create a new version of this one so let's uh, here we have this one and let's create a new one let's duplicate this one but uh, here we have the source and we are going to provide also the destination so we are going to provide the destination as as um, a percentage of the destination window so it will be from 0 to 1 
So here, when we provide zero, this is the, okay, let's show, uh, destination top left corner, uh, the y, the x position, the y position at top left corner, and the x and y position of the um, left, uh, so, oh, sorry, right bottom position. So two points defining uh, the wall uh, square. So instead of this one, so we want to say, okay, the first two ones are for the x and y, so it's destination the position and this is for the output this is for the top left corner and this is for the right bottom corner so with this new uh, method we can provide the output we can say where we want to draw it so let's say that we want manually provide here some uh -huh, this is okay show me <laughs> show me uh, x x so first we start with the x and width so in the second position let's say that is half half oh okay no i don't want to overwrite so i want to add here so I'm going to draw only in the top uh, left square of the of the destination. So mm, no something I have done something wrong. What is the error? Oh, it's here. Mm -hmm, okay. Problem is with the copy and paste, you sometimes copy it too much. No, another error. Uh, draw image. Oh, okay. It needs integers. Mm. Oh, this is an issue. A big issue. Mm -hmm. This is a big problem. Because the drawing image is expecting is expecting and the wall size, so zero and one is just one pixel. Mm, there is some transformations, but it's expecting that one, so we cannot add here. That so we need to to go back. So. Always here we need to provide this one because integers we cannot provide lower than this one. So uh, in order to draw instead of the wall window to draw only a small part, what we need is to uh, s s yes a scale and translate uh, the transformation, apply it to the drawing so this transformation is getting so let me check and we get an identity we scale by the size of the screen we multi multiply the transformation with the canvas size okay and we get here the transformation so what we need is just mm, to apply a transformation before the parents and screen transformation so we need to post multiply the affine percentage do a post multiply transformation with the mm, the tile transformation we need this one so what is the tile transformation the tile transformation is something that scales down so we start with the identity 
and what we do is just to scale down so we need to scale and what values we need to provide so the destination this one minus this one is the width so um, subtracting these two ones is enough for the scale minus this one and the same for the height minus this one so instead of providing right here the values because we are using just um, drawing only one pixel is the, the output is one pixel from 0, 0 to 1, 1 is one pixel but we are mm, providing all the transformations using this set transformation so mm, we cannot use float here because it's expecting uh, wall pixels, pixels, integers so what we need is just to scale here in the transformation so with this one we are going to scale but an amount is smaller than so okay and without translate so let's do later the translation we are right now just doing the scale so scale let me check okay so we have a scale and we are adding more mm -hmm. not sure what's happening here okay so <laughs> let's do instead of a loop let's remove the loop i want to control this one so i want to draw only one let me start uh, integer i is equal to zero so let's start with number seven i don't need this one so i want to draw only number seven and the destination it will be half half uh, so let's check that is only drawing number seven no it's drawing a quarter of the um, atlas picture is not taking care of what I have provided so okay I know I have do it in the opposite way I have added the destination later okay that's not bad but here it's in the opposite way <laughs> so <laughs> so this is okay so the source is the number seven and the output is uh, a quarter of the window okay mm -hmm. a quarter yes and because zero and zero the translation is zero and this will work because we are not provided any translation so it must work no it's using the wall picture wall picture mm. it's using wall picture and i have set only half only half so i provided destination max it's only half so if you scale the transformation and um, what is the post multiply oh okay <laughs> a stupid mistake you need to do the escalation before using the transformation no later because if not uh, there is no impact in the output okay so right now this we are using we are scaling the the destination and in this case we have used just uh, a default value of uh, half so instead of this one so what we want is just to to use the the correct value so let's mm, this one here here and what are the destinations so we have used the tile index in order to get uh, the source so this is the mm, the source so this is just checking that we want to draw only this square so it's providing 
the number that this is 39 just checking which is the row and the column and just uh, calculating uh, the percentage of the this window that represents this corner and this corner so providing these two corners this one and this one it's what we need here so this is with this code just to provide so we need to provide also the destination okay so we need to provide more or less the same code so let me check that we will have here more or less mm -hmm. okay let's reuse this one so first of all where are the destination the destination okay we have not added any destination so we assume that uh, we have uh, they sorted uh, in rows so seven eight nine on division is the first row and whatever so the destination it depends on the index so if you are index number zero it's first row first column index number two or one uh, using programming sort is in the second in the first row second column so we are going to use uh, y i the i the index i mm, so let's use it so <laughs> so we need to calculate this ones so what are the the keypad row and the keypad uh, column so the row it will be the index mm always the index divided by the number of uh, key columns mm, columns that we have the keys per row and the same the remaining it will be the mm, keypad row I think it's wrong so let me keypad row if we divide by the number of columns of, of columns Mm -hmm. For example, 32 divided by 8 is 4. Mm -hmm. This is the row. Mm -hmm. Okay, it must be this way. So we have the row and column. Mm -hmm. And I need this. So this will are going to be the destinations the destinations if instead of tile call is mm, tile call okay so i just need to change these ones tile row is the same code uh, q rows okay and use this here mm. dx1 dx2 dy1 dy2 okay mm. there is only mm, something strange because in the transformation i have not applied the transformation so still all is placed in the top left corner so let's add the transformation here so we have only added the scale so we need to apply it also the transformation a translation a translate where you need to move it to destination percentage x min uh, destination percentage y min if i'm not wrong that will be what we need scale and translate no something's wrong mm -hmm. we have a scale we have translate to x 
min so it could be 0 0.5 or whatever okay and I hope here we are providing the right values I need to check this one so let's add here uh, dx1 plus mm, just add a trace here dx2 plus mm -hmm. dy1 plus just to figure out um, what's happening mm -hmm. x1 x2 y okay just to check that we are providing the correct values okay so we are providing uh, mm -hmm, all of these ones so for example zero a quarter a quarter perfect so at zero mm -hmm, zero a quarter mm. yes so this is mm, Mm, x this is the y y is zero so this is the first row because it's between zero and quarter first row the second row third row and fourth row the, there are four rows for the destination and uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these are the destinations so this the y is working fine from zero to okay it's providing mm -hmm. yes correct second row third row so the values are correct so it's it's providing the, the correct values here mm -hmm. it's providing the destinations it's working fine and the source mm -hmm. let me check the source mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter if the output, if the destination is in different positions, even if the source is the same, uh, we will show it at different positions. So, mm, okay, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we provide this transformation. Okay, there is a problem here. If we provide the transformation here, we are modifying. We need, we cannot provide this way. We need to provide a clone because it's not. And we are modifying the transformation because it's more or less a pointer. So you cannot modify it again and again. So that way it's working. So this is the keypad layout that we were expecting. So as we have defined it, it in the picture, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the mathematical uh, symbols here. So we can uh, adjust here a little bit the window. So I don't need this one. So we can uh, mm, stretch um, this a little bit. So for example, let's add some padding on the left say one and here six so no sorry here it will be eight so let add 10% uh, on each side left and right let's check if that is, is enough for, for uh, too much maybe a half is enough with half uh, so 0 0.5 and the width 9 on the top uh, we can add the same amount um, subtract 1 so let's try it again mm. 
Okay, maybe a little bit to the top, so too much. Uh, okay, a little bit to the top. Move it to the top, so it was correct. So mm -hmm. hmm. try again. A little bit and higher, just to. Okay, I think it's. It's okay this way. So we have this keypad uh, working. Okay, the drawing is working. So what we need yes, is to add uh, uh, the, the rules just to say, okay, whenever uh, in the, it's selected and when you get the, the focus and you get a click, you need to provide the, the numbers. So you need to provide the six or eight or the return or the play or whatever, or, or you can remove. So when you click here, what we want is that the output goes here in this in this screen. So if you click three, a three, if you remove, uh, you can remove. So this is what is expected. So we need to link both and the keypad uh, just to provide the, the input as, this, as it was a, a physical keyboard so that way so it's just a, a real keyboard so mm, let's minimize okay so it's working as the other one so you can move do whatever okay they are updated so this is the idea. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can yes move the windows and put them in the position or the layout that you want. So you have mm -hmm. this way. So it's more real working with and with different uh, windows. You can change the layout and do whatever and also we will add in the future a small icons here or below in, in the in, I don't know where but just just to be able to minimize the window that you don't like at the moment because if you are only working with this one so you don't want the hint here you don't need it and maybe uh, also a future, uh, a new feature could be also to resize the windows. It could be very nice to be able to resize the windows. Okay, but this is the keypad. Uh, the keypad is working. So let's check what we had for today. So create a new keypad component is working and the drawing is working uh, this is very simple it's the first version so uh, the keys are mm, only mm, of one position size so you cannot use for example it's very typical to have the plus sign uh, spread across to twice the size of a standard button so or the zero so that could be for future versions of the keypad but for the first version it's okay so and the remaining tasks adding the keypad events uh, i think that for today we will left uh, will left uh, maybe in the next session for today is, is enough so uh, thank you all uh, all you for for attending for listening to me so thank you and see you in next uh, in next live coding session see you bye bye have a nice day